Hello, my name is Bori Achifa, and in this video I'm going to be showing you an easy way to make videos using a new feature called Panopto Capture. Let's get right into it. Panopto Capture allows users to easily record audio, video, and entire screens or application windows with just a web browser and an internet connection. You don't have to download any applications to use this feature. Before you get started, you'll need to have Google Chrome installed on your computer as Chrome is the only web browser that supports Panopto Capture at this time. To log in and begin using Panopto Capture, open up Google Chrome browser and type in the address bar townsendu.hosted.panopto.com. From the drop down list, select Blackboard and then click the sign in button. Type in your net ID and password to log in. You will be presented with your video library homepage. The next step is to verify that you have created assets in Panopto. To do this, click the drop down arrow beside your name at the top right hand corner of the screen. Right next to Role, you should see Creator. If you do not have Creator assets, you need to contact Blackboard Support or the Help Desk to get Creator assets for Panopto in order to use Panopto Capture. To launch Panopto Capture, Click the Create button at the top of the video library and select Panopto Capture. A new window will appear with the recording interface. To create a video, you need to select an audio source. Click the microphone icon and select your microphone of choice. If you have an external microphone connected to your computer, it will show up here. The bar at the left indicates how well the microphone is picking up audio. If the bar is yellow or red, then the video's audio may be distorted and you might need to make some changes to your microphone. If the bar is not showing green or any color, then the selected microphone is not picking up any audio. The next step is to select a video source. You can do this by clicking on the camera icon and selecting a camera. By default, Panopto Capture will select the default camera. However, if you have multiple cameras connected to your computer, they will show up here as buttons in the preview area. If you do not want to record any cameras, then click the pre-selected camera to turn it off. If you would like to record your screen, you can do so by clicking the monitor icon. A window will appear where you can select the source to record. If you would like to record your entire screen, choose your entire screen. Select the screen you would like to record. If you have multiple screens, they will show up here in the preview area. If you would like to share audio from your computer, check the share audio checkbox. Once you're done, click the share button. To record everything in one application window only, for example a PowerPoint presentation or an Excel sheet, choose application window, then select the application to record and click the share button. Note the application must be opened first for it to show up in the preview area. To record a Chrome browser tab, choose Chrome tab, then select the tab you would like to record and click the share button. You can also share audio by clicking the share audio checkbox. To remove a video source, hover your mouse over the preview of the video of the source and click the X. To preview a source in full screen, hover your mouse over the preview of the source and click the full screen icon. To change the video settings, click the gear icon in the lower right hand corner. Select countdown when pressing the record button to have a 5 second countdown appear on your screen before the recording begins. By default, this option is selected. Select Record to SD to record the video at a lower resolution rather than the default high resolution. It is recommended to keep this unchecked in order to get the best quality possible for your video. To begin recording your video, click the red circle button at the bottom center of the screen. A 5 second countdown will appear, then your video will begin recording. Once you are done recording your video, Click the red square button. The page will switch to the video upload and processing view. A bar will appear right under your video indicating the video is being uploaded to your My folder. Give your video a name and a description. If you'd like to change the location where the video would be stored, for example a course folder, click the drop down menu and choose from your folders. You need to wait till your video is done processing before you can make edits or view the video. However, you can share the video once the processing bar reads getting your video ready for editing. Please note, do not close the browser until the upload is done. If you'd like to redo your video, 
Click the redo button in the upper right hand corner. If you would like to make a new video recording, click the new button in the upper right hand corner. And that's also it. For more information or questions on this or any other technology related topics, visit us at townsend.edu slash OTS training.